first we know one is not a prime number and move from the list two is divisible by itself and one only hence it is a prime number but all other multiples of two are not prime numbers because they are multiples of two and also even numbers the next number three is not divisible by two hence it must be a prime number also as factor 3 and 1 itself now the multiples of 3 are not prime numbers so we'll leave them from the list next 4 already cancelled 5 is the next prime number which is uh, divisible by 1 and itself now all other multiples of 5 will drop from the list because they are not the prime numbers now 7 is a prime number it is not divisible by any other number except 1 and 7 itself so now the multiples of 7 in the list are removed now and hence the, they are not prime numbers now we have only 2 3 5 7 and multiples of those numbers now the numbers which are larger than 10 cannot be divisible by any other number that means the numbers which are larger by the larger than by 10 larger than 10 will also be divisible by 2 3 5 and 7 so all the numbers which are not removed from the list must be prime numbers hence we found the list of all the prime numbers between 1 and 100 This technique is called the method of finding prime numbers by sieve of erythrocinesis. Why we call this as sieve means it is just deleting all the numbers from the list and we are taking from the list some which are not prime numbers and taking that one and it is found first find found by erythrocinesis. That's why it is called sieve of erythrocinesis. First, we know one is not a prime number. 